Welcome back to the channel guys. If you guys are new here, I make videos on entrepreneurship, personal finance, as well as bettering your lifestyle videos. If you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications for future videos just like this one. Anyways, today I'm gonna be getting into how to budget your money. Last video I did say that you must budget your money in order to be successful because if you don't budget your money, you're not gonna know how much you have to spend. To make this video more entertaining and help you guys visualize how much you guys should be spending, I was able to go to the bank today, get some cash, and that way I can show you guys exactly Exactly how we can separate it into percentages. So if you guys have heard of budgeting before, I'm sure you guys have heard of the 50-30-20 rule, which is where you take 50% and you put it in necessities, 30% use it to yourself, and the 20% use towards savings. However, I think this rule is a little bit twisted because I feel like you shouldn't be putting more money towards yourself than you should be putting in your savings if you're trying to succeed financially. So for myself, what I did is I changed up the rule a bit. So instead of categorizing 50% towards necessities, 30% towards personal things and 20% towards savings. The 50% saved the same. However, the 30 and the 20, which is the other half of the 100%, I ended up dividing that in half. So I put 25% towards personal use and 25% towards savings slash debt because obviously you can't save if you have debt. I have $2,000, you guys saw. So half of $2,000, which is 50%, is going to be $1,000. That goes all towards my necessities. And necessities are considered to be things you really need and you cannot live without. So what I consider things you can't live without is a house because obviously you need somewhere to stay, you need a roof over your head. And unfortunately nowadays, you do need a car to get around. I mean, you can use other transportations, so you can put those expenses in that category. However, I have a car, but I don't put the car payment because a car payment is considered debt, which I will get into later on. So instead, what I do put in is the car insurance because that is actually considered a necessity to have the car. And I do have kind of a higher premium because I do want to cover all my assets if I do have it and get in a car accident. Another thing that I do put along with necessities is utilities because obviously you have to keep the lights on and the water on in your apartment or house so that is a necessity in order to live as well as your phone bill i know it sounds like you don't need a phone but honestly nowadays we're in an era where technology is everything so that being said i never thought about this but if you own money on your phone i guess that is a debt you should put that into your debt category and you should put the rest of the phone bill into your necessities because you need to keep your phone on and that goes to show that you have to be really honest with yourself when you go to budget your money because you can't just say like oh i have spare money in my necessities that i can use into my personal no you really have to budget it and you have to stick to it so moving on to the other two categories i do have a thousand dollars left here because i've only used 50 percent for necessities therefore that means exactly half of this is gonna go to personal use and the other half is gonna go to debt and savings and obviously you're not gonna exactly have two thousand dollars every month your paycheck may vary constantly and that's why the percentages matter it's not the exact number that are on these piles but it's the percentages so i already spoke about the necessities column so that can go to the side now let's go on to the second category which is debt and savings so before you can save any money before you can keep any money to yourself you have to get rid of the debt that you have that means anything credit cards car payment anything else you're financing so for example i have a 315 dollars car payment let's say it's 300 boom that's gone so what do i do with these last 200 dollars? i don't have any debt because i paid off all my credit card debt so what you guys want to do is put this towards your debt if you guys also want to attack debt a smarter way you guys can follow the dave ramsey baby steps where he says you can attack the debt with a snowball technique or whatever that is i kind of didn't listen to him i kind of did like in some ways but this video is not about debt it's about how to budget your money once you have paid off all your debt then you can put all these 500 dollars straight into your savings i personally go with synchrony bank because they gave me like 2.15 and even lately i haven't even been putting my money in there i mean i should but I've been more towards investing it than saving it because saving the money isn't really going to grow. If anything, I can put this into the Roth IRA, which would help a lot more. And if you guys are confused on anything I'm saying right now, leave a comment down below if you have any questions because I know this can get very confusing. Like finances is not supposed to be easy. That's why a lot of people fail at it. And that's why I'm also here to help you guys become better at it. So last but not least, we have the last category, which is the personal use and this goes to literally absolutely anything else so it can go to getting your hair cut it literally goes to getting your nails done if you're lady it can go to clothes it can go to furniture it can go to anything literally any everything else going to the club getting a few drinks which is not advised the goal is not to use all 500 dollars. if you can have some money left over that money can be used to be invested into other things so normally what happens with me i'm a huge sneakerhead. like i'll even show you guys here to the left of me i mean 
You guys can probably see on my channel too. I have a bunch of sneakers over there. I mean, it goes on. I can't even really turn the camera. I really don't want to mess it up. So what I will do is I will buy a pair of shoes that I know will flip for good money. Sometimes I'll buy them for even resale and hold on to them or I'll buy them for retail and hold on to them. And I know they'll go up and then I'll sell them later on and I'll make my profit. You guys can do it your own way. There's many ways to make money so you guys can find your own way to invest. So that's the first part of this video is literally just categorizing your money. Now, how do you keep track of how much you're spending? This is where you can go online. You can literally go on Google, type in a budget Excel sheet. I personally would recommend Google Sheets because you can use that from your phone to your laptop. You can go back and forth with this. So whenever you need to input anything, you put it into your phone instead of having to wait till you get home and then maybe you forgot by then. So what I do, I personally have created my own Excel budget sheet that works for me. I would share it with you guys, but it just would not make sense to you because the way I make my income is different from the way you guys make your income. But just so you guys get the idea of it, I have on one file of an Excel sheet, I have a 2019 expenses. So I started this last year. So my sheets would have every single month of the year and then one sheet had income and the other one had a budget. So the income is all the cash flow that comes in. And the way I have the income spreadsheet set up is that I have every single day I put how much I make and then it adds up by itself and then it goes into the budget spreadsheet where that one in particular, it categorizes 50% of that total income 25 and 25 obviously for the three categories and then for the sheets that have the month I put exactly how much I'm spending in each category and then it subtracts it in the budget sheet from how much I have to spend in that category and then it tells me how much I have left and normally you want to be in the positives you don't want to go negative because if you go negative obviously you're not budgeting correctly you have to stick to it and normally what I do I won't spend the money until I know I have it and I need to buy that certain thing. So usually people will tell you to put how much you expect to make, but what if that expectation doesn't actually happen, then you spent money that you don't have. So what I do is I wait until I actually have that money in the budget written down and then I spend according to the number that's left. Some things are inevitable like rent because that has to be paid in the first of the month and that money is gonna be taken out immediately. You're gonna be the negative for a little bit, but then as you get your money, you're gonna come back up. So that being said, you have to be real honest with yourself. You have to be real disciplined to this budget because if you just slack off, and this is with anything, if you slack off, it's not going to work for you. And I've learned this the hard way through many things. Like I've tried cheating the budget myself and then I realized that my money started going down because I just had, wasn't following it correctly. I would go over on some categories. I just didn't like cheating it myself because I wanted to be true to myself and actually help myself better financially. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I started this in January of last year and I'm still doing it, I'm not, it's not gonna stop now. And I have never had more money in my pocket prior to this. Like I have money in many places, I'm not saying that's a brag, I'm just saying that so you guys can understand how much it will help. It, I promise you, it will help you guys so much. So whatever money you guys don't use, you guys can use it towards investing. If you guys aren't the type to invest and you guys are just here to budget, then you guys can definitely just go ahead and put that money in your checking account and just let it sit there. That's fine. If that's fine with you, go ahead. But if you're a riskier person and you're willing to invest your money to make you more money, then I would definitely go ahead and do that. Because at the end of the day, that debt slash savings category, you're still gonna have money in your savings, which like I said, you can use it for retirement plans, which will make you more money in the future as well, instead of just leaving it in a saving account. And I don't know if I missed this or not, but like I said, if you guys are looking for a budget worksheet or Excel spreadsheet, whatever it is, you guys can definitely go on Google and type in budget Excel sheet, budget Google sheet, budget spreadsheet. And I can almost guarantee you that there's a bunch that come up that you can download for free. I really wanna try to like get my algorithm and formulas correct on my own spreadsheet so I can share with you guys because I feel like it would be way more useful. Like it's so much more broken down and it can definitely help you guys when it comes down to tax time because you literally put every single thing that you spend, every single penny, and in the certain category so it's easier to find it's easier to locate what you spent when you spent it i promise you it would be way more helpful anyways guys i apologize for making this video so long i know it was a pretty lengthy video it's probably one of my longest videos i've ever made but i feel like i had to break it down to like dummy steps not because i'm saying you guys are dumb but i feel like it makes it easier for you guys to understand and i really want you guys to understand how important budgeting is like i said earlier if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below i would really love to help you guys because obviously if I didn't, I would not be here making these videos. And if you did enjoy the videos, please smash the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on more future videos like this. Anyways, make sure you guys keep grinding. I'll see you on the next one.